In today's video, I'll be showing you how to install an Android application APK file via the command line using ADB. ADB is a great tool that allows you to customize Android in a number of ways. If there is a user facing feature on the platform, then there is almost always a way to replicate that and even take it a step further via the command line. I have found using this can be helpful when the operating system is trying to limit you in other ways. For example, I had difficulties downloading an app on the Chinese version of MIUI in the past, but was then able to bypass this limitation by using the adb install command. To begin, we first need to enable USB debugging mode. Now I'll be linking to a dedicated tutorial that I have already uploaded to the channel that shows you how to enable this on various Android devices as a way of preventing this video from being longer than it needs to be. But if you're having trouble with this, then let me know down in the comments section below. If you are using a recent Xiaomi device with MIUI installed, then you're also going to need to enable something called install via ADB. This is also found in the developer options menu as well. And it does require you to sign into your Xiaomi Mi account while also having a SIM card installed. With, with that, that done, done, we're also going to need to install ADB and Fastboot tools onto a desktop or laptop PC. There are a number of ways this can be done, and I'll link to a video that I've already done that highlights a tool called Tiny ADB and Fastboot tools. It is very easy to install and will only put the files on your PC that are required to use both ADB and Fastboot commands. Next, you're going to need to download the APK file of the application or game that you want to manually install. And it needs to be stored on your PC. Not only that, but you also need to put that APK file in the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot tools. You could avoid putting it into the same folder if you were to type out the full directory path of where that APK file is stored, but putting it in that same folder is the easiest option for most people. I'll be using a free game called Galaxica in today's example. Just make sure that you're downloading these APK files from a source that you trust. So this is my ADB and Fastboot Tools folder. And this is the APK file that we're going to be installing. So let's open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window, again, in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And then we'll start by typing out the following command. A ADB space install space and then the file name that we want to install. So if you remember that APK file was named Galaxica. So all we actually have to do is begin typing out the file name of that APK file. And then we can press the tab button so that our terminal window will auto complete that file name. If you want, you could type out the entire file name, but you can also press the tab button to auto complete. Don't forget that we need to have our smartphone or tablet connected to the PC with a USB cable. 
and we need to allow USB debugging mode access as well. When you finish typing out this command, we simply need to press enter on the keyboard to execute it and let AB, ADB install this application for us. We're going to be looking for a success message to know that it has been done correctly. If you get an error message here, then it is likely that you have not granted USB debugging mode access or you haven't enabled that install via USB toggle on MIUI. Once you have executed that command and you see that success message, then you can look to your device, open up the application drawer, and then find the app or game that you just installed. There are some other arguments that we can add to this command if you want to do special things when installing an APK file. For example, we can install multiple APK files at the same time by typing out the command adb space install dash multiple space and then the file name of the first APK file we want to install and then the file name of the second APK we want to install and then the file name of the third APK you want to install so on and so forth or you could use a command to replace an existing application that is already installed on your device while also keeping your app data intact by typing out the command adb space install dash r and then the file name if you're wanting to downgrade an application or game that you already have installed on your device to an older version, then you can do that using the command adb space install dash d and then the file name. You can even install an application to your SD card by typing out the command adb space install dash s and then the file name. There are many ways that we can manage the apps and games on our device using ADB. I have previously done a video showing you how to remove a system application or a pre-installed application from the default user account using a simple ADB command and you can find that linked down below as well. I hope this helped show you how to use ADB to install an Android application APK file to your device. We can do this for both apps and games, and it can be helpful in a number of situations. If you have any questions about this process, or just about Android in general, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I will be sure to reply as quickly as I'm able to.